to you just a little bit about this young man, his accomplishments, and who he is. T.C. Broadnax began serving as the Dallas City Manager on February 1st, 2017, bringing his service first philosophy to the city prior to joining the city of Dallas. He served as the city manager of Tacoma, Washington, and has more than 25 years of local government management experience. Broadnax is an international city county managers association credentialed manager and is recognized throughout the country for his significant contributions working in public sector, tackling issues related to community and economic development, neighborhood revitalization, coal compliance, financial management, organizational leadership. His approach to public sector management and community engagement has, has been instrumental and enhancing the quality of life for the residents of the cities that he has served, particularly in the city of Dallas. Now, this young man I have an affinity for. Uh, when I served on the city council, I fought hard to make sure that we had a city manager that understood the needs of Dallas, who understood equity, who understood finances, who understood how to move a city. This young man rose above all others. And to this day, I tell him, if anybody messes with you, let me know. I will be there for you. This young man, without a shadow of a doubt, has been very instrumental in moving Dallas forward through the difficult times of near bankruptcy, through racial strife. When I first came on, we had a budget of $3.1 million. Now we have a city budget of $4.5 billion through his leadership. This is a phenomenal young man, a young man who will not, in his own, in his own words, he will not brag about how bad he is. This is a bad man. This is a very bad man. And I want to bring to you our leader of over 13,000 city employees, our city manager, T.C. Broadman. Well, good evening, everyone. So first, give an honor to God who's blessed me to be able to at least be here tonight as well as hold this wonderful position. I will tell you, I'm humbled uh, and honored uh, for this recognition this evening. Uh, it's not often that I actually get out and accept awards or even get them. So it's definitely a blessing and to get them uh, mm -hmm. from the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha uh, who have meant so much to me uh, since a long, 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 long time ago. <laughs> I, I just want to say thank you uh, for the service that the Alphas and the things that we do in this community and the things that we don't even ask you to do that you step up and do anyway. I want to thank you. You should give yourselves a round of applause. <laughs> and so I'm going to be brief, but I want to at least acknowledge uh, no different than he acknowledged me, and I want to say thank you, uh, Brother Wilson. Uh, he was one of the brothers in this room tonight uh, that brought me here, uh, Council Member Casey Thomas. Uh, if he's still here, I'd like for him to stand as well. Uh, he was a part of that opportunity for me to come and serve this city that, again, I expected at some point in my life to serve. I would just say that today, everything I've done in my career was to get me here, uh, and I'm glad I'm here. The work that the city whether the mayor and the council and myself and my team have tried to do over these last five years was really to bring about equity for certain parts of our community. As I tell people, about 15% of my job, I spend obviously on the day-to-day -day things and maybe looking north about 5% of the time. But the other percentage of the time and all my effort and work 
is looking towards Southern Dallas and all the hard work and the dedication that's needed to find a way to write this ship. And so they asked me what I'll be most proud about uh, when it is my time to leave here. And as others have legacy projects, bridges, and buildings, I often tell folk the one thing I'd be most proud of is developing the human capital uh, in this city and finding a way to make a mark in Southern Dallas and set a standard for what's acceptable, what's needed, and what's deserved that no city manager that follows me will ever be able to do anything different. Thank you. So I would just encourage everyone in this room, City of Dallas just adopted a racial equity plan on August 24th. I'd ask you to go to our website, look at that document, hold us accountable, ensure that we fund and invest in the things that are in that document, ensure and push that our city staff and our service delivery welcomes every challenge that's laid out in that document, and that the city lives up to what it should have lived up to a long time ago, and that's ensuring that everybody has the same opportunities to thrive, survive, and ensure that their kids have a better life, and they should not have a determinant such as their zip code reflect what they might be able to do in life. So again, thank you. Thank you to the brothers of Alpha Phi Alpha. Thanks to all the Greeks in the room, because there's people like us in this room that no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you're always family and you're always a friend. So thank you and God bless everybody. And pray for everyone in this room and pray for everyone in this room. Thank you very much.